and welcome back everyone to the CBC podcast. We have held this off until Monday because I forgot about a Star Wars celebration happening over the weekend. So uh, uh, eh, there wasn't much news. Was gonna ha- they didn't even know what was happening this weekend. <laughs> yeah, it, it re- like, I was supposed to go. And then it's like, oh, I can't afford tickets at this point when it, they originally went on sale. So like, oh, I'll I'll get the next lot when they come out. And then, yeah, cause, cause like, I think like the only thing, I, yeah, cause, like, the only thing I remember it was, of it was from last year where you were asking for it to be be somewhere else other than a Disney um, land or world resort. And this one, so this one was in London. And I was like, what, what, what is it? Like tomorrow? I'm like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It this year is proper sneaking up on me. I don't get how we're in April, let alone what? How many days are we into April? Ten but, days into yeah. April? Like, how? Yeah. How? <laughs> I don't understand. It's just, it's just really weird. Because, like, the only way I know about it is that it's, like, for me anyway, spring is finally coming because, like, everything's starting to warm up. Because I think, like, f- for the last, like, three weeks, it's it's been pretty chilly, chilly for uh, for California standards. And then, like, the last week here, it's been warming up. So, it's, so everyone is starting to bust out the shorts and the sun uh, sundresses so i can't wait to put on shorts oh, <laughs> so sick of trousers <laughs> like, no, need machines to be free yeah it's it's been typical english weather it's been sunny than raining at the same time here but hey that's just that's just the end of march beginning of april for us mm-hmm. but right to get into it as you know, we're saying about Star Wars Celebration, the first thing we have is the Ahsoka trailer and the confirmation that Lars, <coughs> excuse me, that Lars Mikkelsen will be reprising the role as Thrawn for what we assume is the big bad quote. Yeah, it's, um, I mean, it's, I, I know I had to look this up because I'm not that well versed in Star Wars, but Thrawn, I, from what I've seen, is. Apparently a fan favorite because he was yeah uh, people love Thrawn yeah yeah it's because uh yeah he I think he from from his early creation was back in the in the nineties and they brought him back in the two thousand fifteen two thousand like six sixteen era, uh sixteen area of Star Wars where he, he had a prominent role in Star Wars Rebels yeah he was the um like the main bad guy. In Rebels, he's very cool. I I didn't know like, I knew of Thrawn before Rebels, but yeah. the whole Star Wars EU is just like oh, it's homework. I don't care. <laughs> I, <laughs> yeah, I just I, outright, I just don't care about it. Yeah, it sounded lame. Like oh, there's zombies, there's clones yeah. of Luke. I'm like, this is trash. Like, yeah, it's like because uh, the character came from the Star Wars no- novels in the 90s, and then after Disney bought them. It was 2012. All of his uh, all of his exploits were relegated to you know the Legend series, and then they brought him back. So it's it's really uh, interesting and cool. And it, what 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 we're trying to, I guess people are trying to find out is if he's actually big bad because we got, we have like three characters who are supposed to be villains in the soccer. Yeah, like, it's looking that way. I mean, I I don't know if people are being serious, but there's I've seen so many people say that the the blonde haired Sith looking girl is Mara Jade, and I'm like, really? really? I don't um, know if I should believe that one. To be fair, well, I know nothing about Mara Jade, but it's, well, I looked I looked into this. Two characters are the old the old dude is. Is the character um, Balin Skull, yeah. played by uh, Ray Stevenson, and his apprentice Shin Hachi, played by uh, Ivana. Uh, sh- I want to sh- butcher this. Uh, Shinako? Shishako? I think so, yeah. Yeah, yeah so it's uh, not. Skull it's not and the- Hay, like, you're not a subtle felony. <laughs> Yeah, the so old Norse well, wolves chasing the sun. Like, yeah, so these uh these characters aren't what people assume they are. These are well, they could be brand new because I tried looking it up, looking up their their history, and they don't really have any history uh to speak of. So they're probably newish for uh, Ahsoka. And like, I tried to see cool because they look yeah. cool as well, right? And I know everyone's yeah. going off about how the lightsabers in this show look trash, but you can look at theirs compared to say. I think there's an Inquisitor in this as well. He's got a double-ended yeah. saber like the Inquisitors have. But that's got the red and the white in it. Like, it looks like a normal lightsaber, whereas yeah. theirs look really flat. Yeah. So it's like, um, there's obviously a reason for that. Like, it's there got is, to be a um, plot point. Yeah, from, from 
while I try, while I try looking up for more information on this, they have orange, orange, reddish uh, kyber sa- mm. uh, sabers. So it's uh, it's. I really think they pop- look cool personally. It's yeah. nice to have it something look different. It's like when Kylo popped his saber for the first time, and it's like, oh, yeah. it's it wasn't clean. It was all jaggedy and pulsating. Yeah, basically he uh, cobbled to cobbled it together from junk. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, I'm here for the Ahsoka show. I know people, yeah. it, Star Wars show, like people are hot and Mando at the minute, and uh, I think well, yeah, I know, they're missing I know that big the, tongue. I wanted to know what was up with the Mandalorian thing, and then I looked it up, and then the whole like thing is is saying to, it disrespects the Star Wars. It's, it's dumb. <laughs> like yeah, from what I from what I saw, anything disrespects Star Wars. It's it's it's, it's nuts these days. It, it does. Like it. from what I saw, it's from that episode where they had Jack Black and uh, Lizzo as yeah. characters and and Christopher they, Lloyd. Yeah, yeah and they were yeah, and they weren't uh, prototypical serious characters. That's the reason why. Yeah. I, uh, they did, and from uh, and another thing that I saw was, is that, especially on Twitter, is that um, it's like a time honored tradition for actors to, you know, have the costume on and for the fans and to act silly, and that was part of it as well. Where you, like cause they showed up a, a picture, I think, or a video on on TikTok of Lizzo and Jack Black just messing around in their costumes, and apparently yeah. people got mad at that as well. Yeah, it's just, uh, you know. Sure, the episode itself was kind of cheesy, but it felt like a Clone Wars Rebels episode, like an early Clone Wars Rebels episode. Yeah, I'm like, like, you know what? This is quite nice. And uh, it's obviously building. Like, sure, a lot of people as well are saying that like, this season hasn't really been doing anything. It's just kind of plodding along. It's there. And like I kind of get it because, we you know, we've got two left and there's a lot to do. But none of it's been outright bad. It's been more like development on the whole mandalorian culture side stuff it's fun because I, yeah, I think i've seen it to where i guess you could equate uh season three to like what does being the mandalorian mean exactly yeah yeah which we haven't had for the, the first two seasons of this show it's always it's been like no this is now they alluded to it when bo katan first came in the armor was like no she's a cautionary tale and other than this, that, and yada, yada, yada. But now we're actually getting into the nitty gritty of it. Which is cool. Yeah. It's fun. But, but yeah, uh, I'm, I'm interested. It's just like, hopefully it doesn't um, fall into that category of some of the other shows where it's like, um, it's slow. And it's, uh, but it gets good, you know, like two to three episodes. And uh, that's the only like, like off push thing for me to that is like, because I know people is like, oh, you just, you just like, um, you know, lightsabers and, and you know, and shootouts and stuff because you can't handle all the intellectual, uh, philosophical, <laughs> you know, philosophical um, statements. I mean, you, you kind of get all the philosophy stuff with Ahsoka because, yeah. for me, like, the way Filoni seems to approach it is you, the, everything else is a test bed for him and then he puts everything into Ahsoka, like the Ahsoka episodes in uh, Mandalorian season two it's just like yeah he's gonna he's not gonna let this thing yeah yeah no no it's it's just because i did see some uh what is it some of the memes that were coming around where it's usually um like a copy paste of i'm one of the few uh jedi that survived order 66 and then there's like a whole like Bay Area, yeah, the old <laughs> meme. Yeah, it was a whole Bay Area of them because, like, people look look up for the most notable uh, Jedi's that that got um, that got killed. It was only a couple of them, so you, you actually don't know how many Jedi actually like died or just went a wall to escape. So that was that's what I say is like, yeah, the memes kind of. Um, uh, kind it's of accurate, but it's one of those. It's like you know, if there was thousands of Jedi, even leaving like five percent, that still gives you a fair amount of Jedi left. Yeah, no. <laughs> you're gonna have a fair few. But yeah, I'm excited for this. I think it's coming out in August. I I, I think uh, so. Late summer, I think. A lot of stuff's coming out like in the summer. To to. It, I guess it's just how their release window is. Yeah, from from what I just looked up, it's August of this year, uh, tentatively, unless they push it back. So, 
they 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 can't push this thing back. It's been they got nothing else to. They can't no, have got, another like dead the, year like the first. They year got the uh, they got they got the final season of the mid batch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which it's it's coming out I think 2024 is 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 the date that they chose. Yeah, because this uh, season two's just finished. I think I think it finished like the week before celebration, so last week. I could be wrong. Yeah. Here. I don't follow it, but yeah, I know there's another thing that came out, I guess, earlier today from before the final day's uh, closing ceremonies is that um, season two of or volume two of Star Wars Visions will release uh, May 4th. Oh, nice. It's this year. So I haven't watched the trailer yeah. yet. I'm, I'm excited for that. Yeah, I know that, um, old uh, Arm and the Wallace and Grumman guys are doing one. So I'm excited yeah. for that. Yeah, it's in the trailer. It's actually pretty funny. Noise, uh, noise. Well, yeah, that's another one. It's actually from all of the studios that are doing little, little shorts. So it looks all of them look a bit interesting to to watch. See, I I really enjoyed the first season of Visions, and it's nice that we're not. It's not just one like culture animation style this time. They're, yeah. they're dipping into a lot more, and I, I'm here for it. It's cool. Yeah, um, I, was, I was I was surprised yeah. by the clay animation, but it was, it was completely funny. Yeah, it looks so good. I, I've seen that just the still of it. It's like, oh, it just looks so good. It just looks so good. All right. I think that'll uh, wrap it up for the Ahsoka and so on, casting talk. So, moving on, we of course have the Across the Spider first trailer, which I really <laughs> had to sit there and think if we talked about it last time. But I was like, no, there's no way we talked about it last time because it's been like a week and a bit. Yeah. Well, it came out the fourth. So it, it was a surprise. It was a surprise drop, actually. Uh, people thought it'd be in. Uh, people thought it'd be in the morning, but no, it 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 dropped like at two or three a.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time. <laughs> so wow, yeah, not really? It, yeah, it dropped way early First. in the morning. It was it was like yeah, for my time it was like midnight, and then like this East Coast was like three a.m. So it dropped in the you know early early, early in the morning. Uh, stateside, and that's why people were surprised that they did that because they thought it would come out around like you know five or six. They uh, just didn't yeah. want to compete with the Barbie trailer that came out at the same time. Because yeah. <laughs> you all know yeah. Barbie's going to sweep. That movie looks like yeah. unironically funny. Yeah, and that's why people were saying, "Well, because I even saw it like on Twitter where people was like, you know, that the Spider Verse trailer dropped." And people were like, well, "What?" And then, yeah, they like they shadow dropped it early in the morning. But it's it's really good as um, from what I've seen and uh, from like the press releases, they were saying that they have stepped up their game from the last one by saying that they added new techniques that they couldn't do from the first one that they learned from the first one into the second one. I guess it goes on to what they were saying is that each world that they go each world that they go to or that miles will go to will have its own style and flair of what mm. they want it to be and yeah, that, i think what they've shown it looks like it, yes they all look different but i think they all kind of not blend in together but they they are very similar to each other yeah they just have like, their own slight yeah, tweak. Like, yeah because like for an example would be um gwen's world of earth i think was it 65 where she has a copy of the picture that they took together with uh, with Peter. And when she takes, well, I guess when she took the picture into her world, that go, that picture, it, I guess it, it changed its formatting to be a part of her world where it's vastly different Mm -hmm. from when you looked at it to, from you looked at it from when Miles had it. So So it it, it it looks fantastic. Like just from an animation standpoint, the first one was great as well, but I I can remember a a lot of people being like, this gives me a headache. Uh, Just because the whole skipped frame. Yeah. Style they went for. Yeah. They're going for um, like 24 frames. I think. I think it's less than 24 because 24 is the usual standard. Yeah. uh, Smooth animation style. Well, at least for like movies anyways. Yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, the, that was, uh, it is confirmed that the spot will be the main villain, or un, I guess from, from, I say, from this, the that trader villain. he seemed to be just like a starting villain. Whether it escalates, yeah. I don't know. But uh, from from what has been said, that's where I guess that's where it's going to where it's going to lead into to where 
um, if it if you know if the talk is correct, that spot it will probably be like an on uh, not wanting to be a villain in, in the first place until later on in the, in the movie and then into part two, to where he finally becomes one because of the decisions that the spider people um, make those choices to where yeah. you know it feels it very could, molecule man. Yeah, it could have like the whole thing could have been prevented if you just let them if you just tried. This yeah. is what I'm trying to say. And that's where so, I guess that's where at least with thing. this one, it feels like um Miguel is the villain. Yeah. At least well, the antagonist to Mark. He's he's from what I've seen, he looks like he's gonna be the antagonist because he's from what I've seen, he's like he's more of the mindset of um he rather cut out the problem than try and fix it. So yeah, makes yeah. it in this, in the sense that's why he was like, I guess he's uh, demeaning Miles, Miles is saying that you know how uh, I guess it goes in parallel from what Peter B. Parker told or taught Miles in the beginning is where you had to focus on saving one person, don't focus on saving the world. And yeah. the inverse is that Miguel is telling him that you gotta save the world, not the world. yeah, yeah, you gotta save the <laughs> multiverse, not the one person. And from what you've seen is that Miles wants to help the spot, but Miguel says that, you know, you're not going to gamble multiple lives on multiple um, multiverses for just one person trying to help. And I guess that's where the yeah. head the Yeah, I, I, I was pinning on it on, like, his dad dies in this, like, Miles' dad, could, and that's what it, he's trying to save. Yeah, it, could, it could be a version of that, but that's, 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 that's what I'm saying. If the... If, the speculation is true that it's mostly about the spot not about his dad but if it's about yeah. his dad then, i mean yeah. you could put like have the two no like, that that's the plot right the, the spot is the reason why his dad died mm-hmm. so he's trying to save and do it mm-hmm. that way but i don't know it, it could very well be because like the spot can't live no like, it's yeah. too dangerous for the universe to survive so they've yeah. got to take him out but yeah because like if you see in the beginning this a spot <laughs> he's trying to survive yeah, say man is chilling yeah, yeah you, see, well, you see the joke that he was trying to get money from the, the from the atm but he got a can of soda instead it's yeah. just <laughs> it is just you know he's that quirky villain quirky villain until he finally realizes how dangerous he can actually be which is okay. which is, it is funny so I, I think it's fantastic the spots actually for a lack of a better phrase getting the spotlight I mean, because he's always been one of those villains where he's just he's he's such an interesting idea and it can be bigger than what he actually is. But he works in both realms. Like He can be a small, quirky villain. He could be a, like a really big, intimidating one. Yeah, because that's what that's what most writers have said about the spot is that if he actually thought about it for a moment and, you know, and learned and got competent, then he could 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 eventually be or or would be uh, like an avengers level threat mm. but since he focuses on the small time and on spider-man he cannot you know he cannot rise to that occasion so he's just like a, a gag somewhere along the lines of like the shocker to where you know it's just mm. you know oh it's just him and it's played for laughs but I, I he also just to... looks really cool no i just yeah. like the, 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 the white the black spots he just looks cool well, he, he, his, his imagery looks cool. It's just like this version of him. People, uh, from my scene, some, some people don't like because of his body proportions. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's he's lanky with the dad bod. Like, yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I get it. I get it. But at the same time, yeah, yeah it's funny. He looks cool. Yeah, I just I he's just want to know. He's just a spot. Yeah, I just want to know what the last world is because they kept that under wraps. Though so, so there is an image that you know people were wondering how. Um, Ben Riley started that Spider would come into it and he like the way they, they made it. Oh, yeah, because they released those stills, didn't they? Yeah, like he basically looks yeah. like he came out of a 90s comic. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I saw that. I was like, that's, that's a nice little fan made thing. It's like, oh, it's actually mm-hmm. legit. Like, wow, that's he looks yeah, proper he just, different he, compared yeah, to the rest of them. Yeah, he just appears for one still. I mean, you could, I think, uh, yeah, but it looks like it's a, um, it's a, like, it's a cut part from when Miguel comes through one of the portals with Spider Woman and some of the other spiders. I think it's um Scarlet Spider is with them. Noise. Noise. But, oh yeah, it's it's good. It's uh movie's almost here. It's in a couple months. I was gonna say, when's it out? I actually I can't. It's like uh like June second, I think. 
Oh, well, that is close. There. Yeah. There. Yeah. So it's nice they're actually advertising it this time and not just throwing it out there to the wall. Yeah. The oh, I know they're, doing, I know they're <laughs> doing it now. It's just like, you know, it's just, I know like, people really want to see this because of how the first one went. And I was like, cool. I, I, what I want to know is like, oh, Oh, well, we already know. Well, technically, we already know. I was like, I, I hope that we were gonna get the, um, the was it the, the small little animated trailer that they that they made for. Oh, with it. the spider within. Yeah, we I assume they'll attach it to the start of it. I, I can't yeah. see why they wouldn't. Or it'll be in like in the, the DVD extras or whatever. Yeah, because I, because uh, I like assume that it's gonna be a DVD extra. But I was like, it'd be cool if they you know attach it to the actual movie. It would be, especially for like Giz ad like. Add extra added context, right? Like you'd be yeah. stupid not to have that in front of it. Yeah. But before I'm gonna end this off on a question, because I don't, I can't, mm-hmm. I don't know if it's legit or not. Because mm-hmm. there's that picture of like the Spooder Man meme. Oh, I, I found that one. It's, that's that was that was a really well done uh, spoof. It's not. Actually, oh, okay. <laughs> damn. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> like I guess, saw like, that. I was wanted... like, there's no way. Yeah, people wanted no it to be way. real. People wanted it to be real, oh, <laughs> but no, the person man. who made it said that. Uh, so it's on. Uh, no, it's not. It was just a little thing I made. Damn. Yeah, pretty crazy, now. I know. Now I know, and now everyone else knows. In, in case you fell yeah. for it, like I did. But right. Back to the Star Wars talk because they did announce three movies. And you know, the rate Star Wars is going, we don't know if these will. We know one will definitely come out because there's no mm-hmm. way Filoni's not going to let that movie come out. But the others, it could be like the Lando show where they said it was happening, and now Donald Glover's saying, "Yeah, like, we're still working on it. <laughs> yeah, we're still in talks." It's like, but you announced this thing like eight years ago. <laughs> where is it? I want well, my Lando show. It's because of all the. I guess because of all the. Um, Fan outrage and stuff that they're taking stuff slow now, especially with uh, with the James Mangold man was it Mangold? Um, James Mangold, yeah, he's gonna yeah. be a busy man because he's working on yeah. the Dawn of the Jedi, which is like the origins of the Jedi. Like they're yeah. going way back. Like, yeah, they're going way, like they're going, way, they're going way, way back. back to the beginning. I think this. I think it's like it's like twenty five thousand years. Yeah, it's that. something silly. Yeah. Like way before the High Republic, way before the Old Republic. Like this is, this is the point zero in your timeline. But yeah, he's working on Dawn of the Jedi as well as Swamp Thing over at DC at the same time. Yeah. So he's going to be a very busy man. But yeah. with that, we also got confirmation that the sequel trilogy is not getting retconned because Ray is Daisy Ridley's coming back as Ray for a yeah. a movie yeah. that's yeah, fifteen movie. years after the Rise yeah. of Skywalker. So. Yeah, but I guess the context behind this is that this trilogy of movies is, is going to be an anthology series. So I was like, oh, uh, uh, oh is that what they said? Well, that's what people assume because the next three, these are the next three movies, and the the oh, the, oh I, th- I thought you meant for the 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 Ray one. Sorry, no, I was like. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. I mean, it I, could, mean you... I mean, it could it could be. I'm you know, just like that's what people were assuming because you got down to the Jedi, that the one in the middle, and then, and then the Ray movie. So yeah, I was say yeah. The, the the three movies they announced here will be, the you know they they could connect it quite easily. I imagine, but oh well, yeah, occasionally yeah. What as a like a story a story that's not connecting like for an overarching plot. For yeah. All, Mainly due for the v- very different time periods. Now you've got because yeah. they're playing in all three right, right now, right? Yeah. You, you've got yeah. the the Dawn of the Jedi way at the start, the the man the, the Filoni like Mandalorian verse wrap up movie, which I'm really excited for. Yeah, because I think I think we don't know uh, when that's going to be set. Actually. Yeah, actually, I think it's like, got to be. Because I think uh, during the celebration when they were talking about that, they showed like the entire timeline that they were going to be using different projects for, and the timeline's like huge. Uh, yeah, yeah. There's there's a lot of eras now in Star Wars. I'm just trying to think because obviously, because the Mandalorian stuff has been setting up like the rise of the First Order, so it's obviously so far pre sequel trilogy, but there's nothing to say that. The movie could very well be after, like Rise of Skywalker, and be in line with the Rey movie because mm. it's very um, coincidental that she's mm. going to start a new Jedi Order, and we have little Grogu. Yeah, 
Yeah. You could so easily just go 15 year tie jump. He can now talk. He's on the big screen. He's going to train <laughs> with Ray he's a, Jedi. Yeah, he's a he, he's a very old teenager at this point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The timeline currently is from when they're working on because they they expanded it. Is Dawn of the Jedi, the Old Republic, the High Republic, Fall of the Jedi, uh, the Reign of the Empire, Age of Rebellion, the New Republic, Rise of the First Order, and the New Jedi Order. Yeah, as the new Jedi Order being the the so that's, that's yeah. when Ray's gonna be. Yeah, that's fifteen years after the sequel trilogy. Yeah, yeah, it's there's no way Grogu's not one of the the Jedi she trains. Like there's absolutely zero chance. <laughs> I, 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 I <laughs> he's gonna show up with the Mandalorian helmet. This is why you're oh, like, oh, we all know who you adorable. are. Adorable. <laughs> <laughs> you know who you are. Why are you wearing it? Oh. He's holding the dark saber because everyone, every other Mandalorian is dead, and he's like the only one. Because yeah. Mandos just love fighting each other. That's all they do. Yeah. Bashing their bucket heads together. Yeah, but it's it's really really interesting. I just hope that they can um, that it, it isn't as I guess um, the, I guess hope the, the ball isn't as dropped as with the the uh, I guess with the um, you like the, solo. The, yeah. Well, the, the solo and some of the characters in uh, in the sequel series, like I, st- I still, don't, I still can't forgive them for what they did to Finn because that was like, yeah, they done thing. Finn dirty, yeah, yeah. yeah. But that's the question as well, you know. They got Daisy Ridley back. Do they get uh, for, oh, Boyega and Isaac back? Uh, for for what, from what from what people said and, and talked to Boyega, he's gotten to the point where he's okay being a fan again. So it's it yeah, basically that's not an outright no. Yeah, no, it's it's essentially that it has to be right, and they and it has to be because um, because from what he said, he doesn't want to be technically Disney Disney Plus to where it's not um, I guess the the quality and the polish isn't there. Yeah, he doesn't want. He doesn't want. Which is, sh- t- which is totally yeah. fair, right? You know, yeah, he, he essentially doesn't want like a Finn show to be just thrown out there and like everything's all out yeah. of whack and stuff like that. And it's just, you know, he doesn't want to do it for the sake of doing. It. He wants to do yeah. it to actually do it. Yeah, yeah, which is respectable. But part of me is like, it would be weird to do a Ray thing without having those mm-hmm. two in it, because you could so easily make up for the the whole thing of Finn being like a stormtrooper turned Jedi and just have him mm-hmm. be one of the students. Uh, mm-hmm. You could it's, really make that a really nice arc in these yeah. movies. It's just, um, yeah, because because uh, people were saying, oh, you know, like I think it was that one of the things where people were saying that the they're retconning the sequel trilogy and they're doing their own thing, and then this comes out, and then like people were like bashing uh, like Ridley for this uh, for whatever reason, because like I think like she has had like roles, but none of them were I guess of this caliber because from what I've looked into like she's had like a respectable um career for voice acting apparently <laughs> like she, she's done a yeah, lot of voice I was gonna say she um at least off the top of my head she she was in the old uh peter rabbit movies yeah both of those right? yeah because i think she's like yeah she's been expanded into voice acting where she's done a lot of anime stuff and stuff for video games and, uh, and the like where I guess people who don't like these really because like the the script's not her fault. <laughs> she's no, just, it's not. She's, uh, she's just even actor. the acting, like you know, you can yeah. you can be a good actor, but your director's terrible, yeah. and then cough, Lucas, cough. Like, yeah, that's yeah. the thing. And like, because people want to like hit her for that, and I was like, well, you, you could hit a lot of other people first before coming down to her, and like. Is like technically it's not she didn't write the character of Ray for what you know going through her uh character arc for those three movies. Yeah, that's why I'm like I'm apprehensive. I'm like hopefully they can you know do this stuff correctly this time while taking taking their time. I think not... they will. I think that you know half the reason we've had this massive gap between movies is purely mm-hmm. because they they don't want to just throw crap out the wall. Yeah, because they like, want to actually I, do I don't it think properly can... and expand. Uh, yeah, I don't think I can take another uh. A mystery box and oh, you know it's this, well thankfully this. they have injected that mystery box because <laughs> <laughs> that's that's what it's like oh you guys kind of ruined it but yeah i have uh, i am optimistic but still just want to mm-hmm. see what they can do with all this and that then they're all playing and i guess every they can now play in every area and not just keep yeah pushing stuff forward 
which is, I think is what the franchise needed. And I think what people wanted at the same time is like go into the as far back as you possibly want to go, but also go forward. Like just you can still play in the Skywalker era sandbox, just also play in other places as well. Like for as big as Star Wars is, it's so small because it's always centered on this one thing and this I mean, one family and this one part yeah, and I mean, this one time. Nice. Uh, I mean, um, what, what people wanted is to get away from the Skywalker line, but technically they didn't because of because of what they did <laughs> at the end of the last movie. Is like um, is essentially make a new Skywalker. It's true. Yeah. Spoilers, you haven't seen Trove, by the way. Yeah. Or if you don't, if you're not on the internet and you're somehow hearing this, and you, you never knew that Ray became a Skywalker. Yeah. No, Which I still that... find it funny. If people are mad about that. It's just like, oh, shut up. What, what, I, uh, th- th- it's cheesy. I, it's goofy. It's Star Wars. Yeah. Leave it, leave it. I know. <laughs> it's like no. On one end, I know it's it's you know people need to calm down. On the other end, I think the what the I guess the people that um, are sane enough is that we, <laughs> they don't want to continue Skywalkers. They wanted an, a new character or a, a, so, yeah, a new character essentially. Because I know Ray is a character, but it's, they're trying to have their cake and eat it too by yeah. continuing the Skywalker line. Yes, it, it it felt very much like a Lucas thing to do, and this part of me wonders if like, how much like, were they just trying to emulate Lucas there, or was it just uh, oh we run out of ideas? Like, I mean, just another yeah. story behind. I it. mean, Lucas has done crazier things, especially <laughs> this, you think the, 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 the story <laughs> from like the, the like Lucas, I guess Lucas game is where they wanted to do a Dar- oh he wanted to do a, a Darth Maul game, and 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 they wanted he wanted another character in it, but the timelines weren't correct where one character was born way before Ma was even around and he just picked up the character and said they're family now <laughs> bless bless Lucas fantastic I mean, idea man I mean I'm not if, the best uh, I mean if you I mean wouldn't you do that if you were in control of, of a gigantic IP and no one could say no to you it's like well, I want the I want this character. Well, we can't have this character. This character, and you just go to the figurine and said, "Guess what? They're family now." <laughs> <laughs> and people are mad at Feloni for just bashing action figures together. It's not... hey, I mean, learned it from George. I, I know. I mean, uh, <laughs> hey, they, especially from like uh, I think what was it that that was it that that um that speedster. The scene where they they showed how they composited the whole entire scene. They used Kenner action figures. Yeah, Return of the Jedi. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I love that shit. That like, <laughs> we like can they, use the toys. Yeah. To it's like we've been using toys percent. all along. Bless so, him. Like, People yeah. like to think movies are made in this really intricate, fantastical, professional way. No. <laughs> No, just it's like the it's like throw the, what you can. At yeah, it. throw what you can if you if you can make it by easy if you can make it easier for yourself in a more cost effective way. Hey, mm-hmm. do it. <laughs> if it means. Like, and this is the thing with like the unironic thing with toys is they're a fantastic <laughs> visual. So you've got yeah. this visual of how things are going to look exactly. So you're just like, hey, yeah. why not use action figures and make a little diorama set, and then you can <laughs> storyboard out your shot and see how everything looks before you shoot it and do it that way. You know? Yeah. People are always mad about bashing attributes together. It's like, well, that's the best way of doing it. Yeah, it's like they're good models. You don't have to. Exactly. You don't have to, like, you don't have to pay them or tell them to stay still for a second. Just, there you go. Yeah. The, but, the yeah. magic of Hollywood. It can be cheap, but it can also be very expensive. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to look to see if there's anything else. That really I say they, were, they were the three movies that they announced. Yeah. So. Like, they also, well, people assumed that they were going to talk about the games that were going to be tied into the whole thing as well. But mm, nope, they didn't show the, they didn't show anything for the, the, the project that, that was supposed to go on. It was only for, um, was it the, the was it Fallen Order? For, yeah, yeah, uh, Jedi Survivor, yeah. Which looks looks pretty good. Um, but people I mean, are like, RIP if you're playing on PC. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, yeah, no, 155 gigabytes. I thought it was, I thought it was for every. I thought it was for all the, the, the um, all the platforms. That's what I thought. 
Oh, I, 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 I just saw that it was that big on PC. My, mm-hmm. I, I saw it. My first which I thought was that better not be on console as well. Because I, I, think it is, I think I think it is on console. I think console's like one thirty five. No. <laughs> Delete the town making mechanics, EA. You don't need them in there. <laughs> because I think I think part of the reason is because one, I think it was one of the one of the um, planet cities is fully explorable. So oh, you're gonna have a, you're so gonna I know Kura, you go to Coruscant and that's not open world. I think they said. Yeah, and it's one of the, it's one of the things I forgot which one, but that one is yeah. like really big open. But for like the other um, planets and stuff, it's like um, I think it's like it's layered open world. Not essentially. Yeah, that's, that's what the first one like, did. Like it was, they're quite decent sized maps, and they're like yeah. top, middle, and bottom, and all that. Yeah, it's, it's it's essentially like uh, uh, for reference, it's like uh, Uncharted or or the um, God yeah, of War yeah. series where it, they have a lot of stuff to explore in this open area, but it's kind of still kind of closed off into railroading you into going yeah. to point A to point B. Um, Since that comes out at the end of this month, I'm going to start the latest stuff yeah. on my PlayStation. Yeah, uh, yeah. Look at, uh, I know they did the acolyte, but I wasn't really. So the, the, there's news on the acolyte. We didn't get mm. anything publicly released uh, okay. for the acolyte. It was all I, behind closed doors. We've had some leaks for it, but mm. there's. Yeah, because I was like, trying to, I was trying to see if it was true because it like, like, it was, like centered around like two twins, I think. Was. Yeah, they they yeah. described it as being um. Frozen meets Kill Bill, so oh, okay. yeah, you yeah, can't put two was... and two together. It's going to be like a revenge story between two yeah. sisters. No. Yeah, well, it's, it's two sisters played by the same actor or actress. Which is, oh, is it? Yeah, that's what the, that's oh, what that's the cool. report was. Is they're, they're, it's one actress playing two characters because they're they're twins. One is a, um, I think it's an Inquisitor, and the other one is a in training Jedi, and she has, um, that. One the 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 one character from the Rebels, um, the kid who had the blaster saber. She oh, has what, Ezra. Yeah, she, apparently from the reports that she has Ezra's saber. Huh. So, uh, so yeah, it's, 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 say, it's, I know um, there's been shots of Sabine from the Ahsoka show yeah. with Ezra's saber. Oh uh, well. Yeah, that's what I said. It's reported out and saying it's it's true, but if that's what it is, it is. But it's but but the Acolytes Acolyte itself TV series is pretty interesting. <laughs> where, I say where, I'm excited for the Acolyte. Yeah. It sounds really cool, especially Frozen meets yeah. Kill Bill. Like that's such yeah. a uh, you know that's obviously just the sister yeah. dynamic, but it's yeah. they're yeah, two it, wildly like composed things. Yeah, that's that's what that's what interests me the most. Is like as that. Um, I guess it has uh, that uh, that philosophy of like you know what do you do if your family member is on the opposite side and like you're trying to you know either get through to them or you know you're gonna have to take this responsibility yeah. on. Uh, I can't I wait for this to cut. Like people to know this until the second it comes out, and for all those people to start crying about politics. Isn't <laughs> wait? Isn't Star Wars like, about like, politics? Like, you're absolutely correct, but people forget that somehow. I mean, and every, I know and every I time it. they're surprised that there's politics in Star Wars. <laughs> it's just like, I mean, it's, it's always, like there's always politics in, in either Star Wars or even any other, um, like I guess, folk tale. It's usually a lesson, or yeah, yeah it's usually a lesson of you know, what to expect from the times and all that. And I'm like. It's uh, ours has always been political. It's just that so uh, you just found out war in the name. No. Yeah, <laughs> it's like stars has always been political. It's like you just found out that you're on the wrong side. Yeah, that's that's all it is, right? It's people's been like, yeah. oh, I'm the bad guy. <laughs> yeah. Whoops. Not even whoops. It's just that like, I'm mad about it now. Yeah. All right. We're gonna leave that there and move on to the Blue Beetle trailer that came out. And uh, mm. yeah, I like this. Yes. I mean, I like it too. Uh, like, um, one thing I didn't like is how everyone, or how a certain group of people, uh, got kind of eh, little, got their bum 
kind of heated because of a George Lopez joke at the end, and people like took that way too seriously than, than what it was supposed to be. Say, what's the joke? Uh, it was when they're in, in the, I guess, the beetle lair, and it says, this is kind of like what Batman has, and then George Lopez's character says, Batman's a fascist. Oh, of course, people are up in arms about that. Of course, I should have guessed that. <laughs> yeah, and as soon as that, like, I found it everyone, funny, right? to be honest. Yeah, everyone, I, I was, it was, it was like, it was like, I was like, eh, it is funny, but I was like, eh. I was like eh, eh. and then that's when I, but I wasn't like really out of it as the joke, and then that's when I saw a uh, certain group of people took that way too seriously, and they like they went irate with it, and I'm like, dude, it was just a joke. But yeah. um, I did like, you know, um, Blue Beetle. It was, it was you know, very, um, very, re- well, it referenced a lot of, you know, Japanese superhero shows. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, at least that's what, that's what I thought they were going for with all the over the top uh, action sequences and the posing, you know, the unnecessary posing. But um, it's, it's cool. I, I, I I want to I can't wait to see it. I'm not I'm not sure. Um, it's going to be part of the new DCU. No, it is they've uh, they said it's going to be canon to James Gunn's. DCU. Oh, so they're, so well, they're the red- way like you compared how Gunn's talking about this, like or not talking about like marketing this movie compared to Shazam two. Yeah, yeah. it's night and day. It's, it's absolute night and yeah, day. So uh, this he's like he's gushing about it and all this and that. Shazam is like go watch Shazam. So it's essentially they're retrofitting it <laughs> to pretty much, yeah. I think because this doesn't necessarily it's, it's, yeah, it's standalone like, enough to where you, you yeah, it doesn't like really re- it references characters, but it doesn't like reference events or something like that. Yeah. So it is is harmless in how it can fit in, but yeah. which I'm cool with. It's nice to have like a character like a blue beetle. Like, not that I know a lot of black boot. Uh, Blue Beetle. I know oh, he's like well, know their before. Spider-Man quotes well, uh, in a sense. Te- te- technically, yeah. Um, what people were, or I guess what Blue Beetle fans are, they're kind of upset that like they skipped two versions of the Blue Beetle to, get to the current one. Which you know, yeah, it's the typical legacy in movies with these characters. Well, well, you you well, skip the older ones to get well, to it. Yeah. Well, the, 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 well, it's the legacy of the legacy. <laughs> it's true, yeah, because there are two. Uh, before, yeah, right? it's like uh, it's like if uh, for like Ant Man, they they skipped all the way from Hank to you, you just go straight to Cassie. Like, yeah, yeah, and they just have references to the other two. That's that's what people were kind of. Yeah. Um, but uh, on the opposite, people are happy that um, technically it's the first um. I guess his Hispanic hero that's been being spotlighted because um yeah, it is, yeah. Yeah. for I, I guess for people who don't, who don't know um a lot of characters of color haven't been spotlighted either in you know in animation or been pushed enough in animation TV shows movies even comics um because I guess one of the problems is is that um for better or for worse um this version of Blue Beetle uh pre like predates a couple of characters including Miles by a couple of years, but he didn't get the push like Miles did for when he first appeared. And that's where people were uh, where I wouldn't say are, are mad they were upset with DC as a whole where they wouldn't be pushing these new characters like uh, like a couple of them like for a static shock to where it's like you see the populator of one character from another uh, IP or studio or company that they had their equivalent to not getting the push like this one character when that character should have been, you know, up on the same um, pedestal as as the character from another studio to where they both would have synergized and brought about, you know, a new wave of fans and creators that wants to create new stories for those types of characters. And I don't know what to say to them is that this is just how DC, well, DC and Marvel are to a certain extent, more so DC to where a lot of their uh, characters of color don't get the um, push that they de- that they deserve. It's like they try once or twice, and if they don't, so it doesn't on, help that Blue Beetle or this version of you know, old Jaime Reyes came out in yeah. the mid two thousands. So yeah. 
a time where that wasn't really a thought for anyone. Like, cool, yeah. they existed, these characters, but it's yeah, not getting the push. But then you, yeah. on the flip side of that, you have the the, the tale of Baz, the, the Green Lantern. Like, yeah, they made a massive deal about him, came out, and then they just kind of let him fall to the wayside. And oh no, no, no. that that was is, is essentially what I was talking about. Where yeah, yeah. No, I think it was it um, Johns wanted to keep pushing uh, pushing him after he left mm-hmm. the book. The new writer came out and said that his favorite character or his favorite Green Lantern was Hal, and we're going with Hal. And no matter what the fans said that they wanted, you know, they wanted Baz or they wanted another another Green Lantern, he said, t- uh, you know, you know, suck it. We're going with Hal because that's the that's the one I grew up with. That's the one I want to write about. Which I mean, so, you know, fair enough. You've got to write yeah. about a character that things you like because otherwise you're just gonna burn yeah. out and hate yourself. But yeah, <laughs> like... well, yeah, that's that's that was the, that was technically the the demise of of Hal Baz. And got thrown in the trash because uh, the new writer did not want to write him, and they wanted to write the character that they wanted to write. So, oh, that's, yeah. yeah. So that, that unfortunately, that's 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 the, how it goes sometimes, where yeah. you know they just you know they get the wrong person or they get a person, and they said, "Well, I'll do it only if I you know only if I do the character that I want to do," and that's what it, that's what it was like, mm-hmm. and that's why some of the fans for for uh, Ray is here said that he should have been as popular as like miles was or is, yeah. is but dc didn't push him like like marvel did and that's where they it's technic they're they're from the era around it because i think yeah arrays came like 2009 2006 uh, around there and that's where i guess some of the resentment from the fans are is like if you know if if um dc had uh, put enough faith into this character as you know as miles was they both would have been the highlight from for that area coming to now where they would be more prominent so yeah, and, yeah they would be, so. but i, I, mean, I hopefully am, the movie pushes him a, a little bit yeah. more and people actually go see it because this the, i am slightly worried that the intentional mm-hmm. look and feel of this is mm-hmm. going to put like a general audience off but the the charm this trailer has like yeah it's, I, I adored it. The whole look of it. It, it was it was a bit of a shock at first. Like you, you watch it, you're like, oh, this looks really cheap. Mm. Oh no, like, yeah. why have you done it this mm. way? But then you, you watch it again, you're like, you know what? You, you got to lean into it. You got you got to get it. Like the the bright neon lights, the, the exaggerated poses, the the mm. Sentai look, I guess, of everything. Yeah, like, it's, yeah that's it. It looks it's, fun. It, yeah, it does. Um, but it's that's what the only thing I'm worried I'm worried about is the um, the confusion is like is this you know standalone? Well, what we currently know now is that it's part of the new DCU, but it's like is a standalone yeah. for the casual fans. It's like is it standalone or is it part of the the old universe or what? What is it? I say and, that, that's that's their big marketing problem now, right? They they don't yeah. even James Gunn coming out a few months ago and saying like. That's this is old. Oh, this is when the new stuff starts. So they're like, our first project's going to be, um, is it Creature Commandos? Howling Commandos. I That's think. Marvel. Uh, it's the Creature Commandos because I know they both of them have like similar names to yeah. most of the characters. Yeah. The, the weird animated one, right? Well, it's well, their first project, but then yeah, at the same time, they also say that Superman Legacy is the start of the DCU. But the, well, they're not know, bringing that it's, out. Well, that first. one was weird. Yes. I want that thing is weird because he said like this is the start of the DCU, but this is the start of the DCU for movies. <laughs> I was like, what? Yeah, it's it's the the, the them it, it, even with Gun on board, it, it's very like well, why yeah. just have Superman okay. be first? Like, yeah, it's a uh, yeah. You're correct. It is Creature Commandos. Hey, that's the first time I remembered that name correctly. I always get it wrong. <laughs> well. Yeah. It, you got it right for an, an IP that only got like three issues. <laughs> hey, I I know my obscure stuff. Oh yeah, so that that's first, but now because apparently Blue Beetle doesn't really reference anything in yeah the the, the, the trash we're currently in now, like this could be first. <laughs> it, it's it's gonna be connected to it, but it's not the first thing because Superman's the first thing, even though Superman yeah. now technically is the third thing 
in yeah. the DCU, but it's the start of everything. Um, but Blue Beetle's yeah. coming out when we got the Flash and Aquaman coming out, so it's within the old stuff, but it's oh, taking yeah, place that, after. That, the whole, that, see, this is just a, a log jam yeah. at this point, because you have the old stuff still coming out, where a while the new stuff is coming, or is uh, essentially replacing the old stuff at this point. It, it's just really yeah. weird, because you got the Flash, and I forgot, oh, I forgot all about like Aquaman two, where that's supposed to end it. <laughs> yeah, well, technically, it ended. Every, I said, every well, I think my mo has forgot about Aquaman as well. He's like, yeah, yeah I ain't doing three. I'm going to be low, bro. <laughs> so well, he's, 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 yeah, he's going to Minecraft. That's what he's doing. Oh yeah, he's going to be Steve. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Steve going to be huge. <laughs> Damn. Damn. But yeah, it's just a weird thing here because I was like, I want to know how, how like because. Uh, from how you said it is like that's what i want to know it's like i really want like a definitive timeline how this thing is going to go because they, they uh, need to yeah they, they because to. it's it's all stems from james because he said that he wanted like all these projects to be canon to the dcu and, yeah. and that, inc- that includes the animation front and that also includes the video game front which which is a pipe. Said, the whole video game thing's a pipe dream. They, they yeah, because at least says that. Because at least because at least says that. I'm like, how is that gonna work? The only way that can work is if it's like a standalone story and they just make a quick reference to it and that's it. Yeah, that's the that's the only way you can do it. how the development time on games is it's impossible. Yeah. Unless yeah, you plan what... everything that tightly and you're that strict with how like yeah. fluid a script and direction stuff can go like there's no way you can make games and i know people are going to be like oh but these people didn't no no they didn't no no no, no. <laughs> no everything don't, everything don't believe his tasm 2 video game lies no to have played tasm 2 no that whole thing changed really really quickly it was like it only make a yeah. it, only, it a reference to the first movie yeah that was it <laughs> That was that was horrendous marketing that one, but that's Sony. But yeah, it's yeah. yeah. G- games will never be they'll be they can be loosely based and they can go. It takes place in timeline. It's something completely different. Yeah, but that's it's, what I'm saying it's like you, essentially you're just going to be getting references at that at that point. So it's, yeah. it's not doesn't like like it doesn't oh, cross paths with with the uh, the canon timeline of the movies and the animation because no. you because you can plan for animation around around that uh, unlike with uh oh, yeah. video games because things change like the whole whole like uh whole uh the plans for the video games and uh the scripts for them can just get thrown out in the trash and start over <laughs> from square one right there and then yeah. i'm certain the only thing he means is like yeah um the new yes. Superman actor will be the voice in animation and games. Yeah, and they'll that's, do it that that's, way. That, that's yeah, the only feel, way yeah. that that as well. That, that which is kind of um, technically smart, but uh, those actors. I say it'd be nice to have a consistent voice for everything, but yeah, yeah, they're they're gonna, gonna, yeah they're they're don't get paid. paid. <laughs> 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 I was like, they're going to be getting paid. For, uh, yeah. Hopefully, they're going to be paid a lot for all the stuff that they're going to be potentially be in. You just got to hope that the. Uh, the actor for Superman or the character, whichever one gives enough of a crap to actually be good at voice acting as well. Cause Oh yeah. As yes, we see from what if completely different. Yeah, certain, <laughs> some yeah, people certain, can phone it in, some yeah. people try. Yeah. Yeah. And that's why I was like, yeah, because certain kids, certain actors can actually, you know, voice act, others, you know, can't and it's just like you just see them just it's just them talking at that point. Yeah. It's just like, oh hey. This thing's happening now. Yeah. 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 Blue Beetle. It looks fun. It's got a charm to it. It looks different. I, I'm yeah. here for it. I'm very much here for it. Yeah. I know. I think I know that the, um, I think, I think the Japanese trailer is actually, <laughs> actually, people are really excited for that. Uh, uh, Japanese. I front. need to watch that now. If it's anything like Nezarak's voice actor in Destiny, like just going it's, absolutely it's, it's, nuts. It's, like, it's, it's, oh, it's, it's, it's funny because. Um, that we that especially like we check YouTube for translations. A lot of the Japanese viewers are really excited for this. Noise. I might actually just go watch it after this. No. So I reckon that would, that would fit really well. I might just watch Blue Beetle in sub, or yeah. <laughs> just just yeah. never watch it in English. Just always watch it in sub. I mean, if you watch a lot of like 
um, comic book movies. So it's really interesting from when uh, from the uh, the voice actors that you get them. Like I know um, off the top of my head, I know the voice actor the the Japanese voice actor for All Might is the voice actor for Thor uh, in Marvel, and he's nice. also, <laughs> he's, like, he's also <laughs> the so voice creepy. actor for Kratos. Oh wow! I wouldn't have put those two together. I can yeah, see it now, but I wouldn't have put them together. That's what you. That's what we found out. Is people were or, or or laughing at, laughing at that. He's like, you know, the the voice actor for like All Might is the voice actor for Thor in the Marvel movies and Kratos in the. the... I, I'm gonna have to watch the MCU in, in <laughs> yeah. Japanese now, just for just for that. All right, that's gonna bring an end to that topic, and moving on to our last one. Something I think we we talked about it before. Yeah. I think there's there's always been conversations about this, but mm. Guns very kindly come out and said like, yeah, we we've actively talked about a Marvel DC crossover movie. Yeah, uh, I think he has talked about this a little bit in the past in this one when he said he came out and said, yeah, we 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 are very open to um working with Marvel Studios to have a crossover movie and, and, and things of that nature. But that would be a little bit down the line because they want to have all their ducks in a row first before they start. Yeah, going the, the, the they need projects. to get their, uh, their, their, their their stock in order, essentially, which, which is fair enough, right? You know, you don't yeah. want to just jump right into it. You know, you actually want to because at, at that the point DC's at, it's mm-hmm. only ever a benefit to them. So, it wouldn't be a benefit yeah. to Marvel, which you, you have to think about yeah. in the situation, right? So once once and if DC can get their foot in, which I, I got yeah, full faith they can with a natural direction and sort of plan. Yeah. Like, and I think like even Kevin Feige said that he's open to the idea as well. It's just that um, he's like, I think he was like, um, but I don't think DC as, as of this moment would be open to the yeah. idea because of because of them trying to have everything on track. I say I so, think for both sides right now, it's not the best option. Yeah. You know, Mar- Marvel was internally going through a bit of a rough patch, which you didn't to... hear anything new about, which is kind of surprising. So I, I, I assume it's going to go dark for a little bit, and then it'll just come back swinging with, yeah, they settled the case. Yeah, all that too, and, and from I, what I assumed is that you know they're trying to um, reorganize a lot of their projects to have that polish. Yeah, that... They're, they're pushing everything back as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because, you know, because in the grand scheme of things, trying to do short game did not work for their uh, product at all. <laughs> so it's amazing yeah. that uh, short term gains don't don't last in the long run. Who <laughs> <laughs> you just thought when Chapek came in, everyone would be right that get rich quick is not the way to go. Yeah. yeah. Chapek's yeah. gone now. He's nothing but a bad memory. Well, a lot of people are are, are gone, including true, <laughs> true. I like Ike Palmer. I was like, they fired me. Yes, they did. And they, they oh, that that was part of the thing it I wanted good. to talk about. I just thank you for reminding me. Where like, um, like he was the re- part of the reason that they fired him is because he was trying to lobby another uh, uh, another investor that would give him more control over. Yeah. Um, more control over the animate uh, the animating animator sector because yeah. in his words disney gave gave them too much control over what they would want to do and that's wow. a waste of money wow so he was These old um, rich white guys man yeah so un, un, so un, unfortunately he he basically just wanted to you know because you know how um, there's pitches and stuff like that if yeah. it wasn't cheap and if it wasn't made on the cheap and it wasn't um, I guess financially viable to where they can make a lot of money on it. He was basically just gonna say no and throw it in the trash. <sighs> I'm so glad that that time of Marvel's done. Is yeah. yeah, he was in control <laughs> of that company for way too long and power for way too long. Yeah, that's because now. Yeah, that's part of the reason why they they can't, I guess, because that people couldn't t- couldn't take his uh, crap anymore with with all the uh, cutting costs and trying to basically um, get rich quick. And, yeah. and you yeah. know he's cheap because there's stories about him like 
recycling paper clips. Oh, like you, you weren't you weren't allowed to have like all the new paper clips. You had to keep yeah. recycling them. Oh no, it was it was that pens and pencils. You had to count mm. how many you had, and you had to for I guess for especially for animators who still did uh, um, pen, uh pencil and paper before going to digital is that you essentially had to use up all of of your um you your, had to work uh, down to the nub yep basically just the nub for anything and like you said with the paper clips you couldn't just throw them away you had to save them basically if you're done with the paper yeah, and paper yeah. wasn't useful anymore throw the paper away take the paper clips so because i guess you, you know all that cost cutting measures was, was horrible so yeah uh, he's out so yeah what because i also think the whole marvel entertainment thing's just been <laughs> split up and absorbed into different yeah, parts uh, of marvel and disney yeah from what i've um looked into uh marvel as a whole has been absorbed into into disney and it, uh, um the comic section the comic section still reports to feige so he knows what's going yeah. on and what to do with uh that on the um tv and movie side um, their their toy section hasn't changed much with Hasbro, although Hasbro is um, changing some things because they isn't the Hasbro in like a slippery slope right now, aren't they doing yeah. something? Uh, they're, yeah. they're screwing up quite badly at the moment. Yeah, because they're still in their multi you know, their multi year um, uh, you know, the plan with it, so that could change because um, you watch Disney like, buy Hasbro. Yeah, because if you're looking at it, it's like their their molds have been questionable, and they're going back to the open blisters for their figures, and not the closed off blisters where it cost it cost more money to make those than the regular open blistered figures. So that waste of money that Define way. Define what you mean by blisters. Um, to where you can see the fig, to where you can see the figure. What are the joints? Oh, you no, mean that, oh the package, that, the package, the package itself. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like the, the open blisters for the package, so where you like you know you pick up the the, the yeah. figure. So yeah. no, I remember there being a big thing about how they closed it off, and it's just like who who wants to yeah. buy a, a a figure like yeah, closed they, off? The whole point is you see the thing. Yeah, it was basically it was a waste because they used so much cardboard for that closed off blister that people didn't want yeah. that they wanted to see the figure because of the the mold wasn't to their standards they wouldn't buy. It. And that's what the outrage for that yeah. was. They're finally going back to it with the next series in I think like twenty twenty four, and then um, I think uh, was it Disney or Marvel Games is still Marvel Games still reporting to Dis- uh, Disney. Um, uh, it's, yeah, just a lot, a lot of stuff has been, been moving because they're I guess they're wanting to do quality assurance after all, all of this, mm-hmm. and. Wrap it back down to what um, John has been saying is they I guess they're doing the same thing on, on their end before they can actually do the crossover, but they they would want to do do a crossover, but like like again they want to get all their like not all their big names but most of their big names most likely Superman and a couple other characters um, down before they actually do something like this, which I commend commend them for so oh yeah yeah, yeah. you got to let dc actually catch up to having a multiverse in which to be fair i suppose they're really, having one technically it's really flash, so. <laughs> yeah, it's relatively yeah it's relatively yeah i said that and my brain went flashy with you i'm like oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> i forgot about that movie yeah, we said that that we said it from the dceu to the dcu yeah i mean at least we're gonna lose shazam and black adam right no one's got to suffer through those two anymore that whole that whole thing was a horrible yes, idea. Yeah. I, I, I don't I don't know why they messed up, <laughs> messed up that that whole thing. Eh, choosing choosing people who shouldn't who shouldn't be the characters or say that they, they are fans of certain characters. So yes. yeah, I, I'd I'd be down for it. Mm. I feel like it's one of those ideas where it's you know you get like these old creators be like oh when you've run out of ideas you do this like it feels like one yeah. of those but at the same time you know people love the like amalgam mm-hmm. comics and the crossover comics and we haven't had one for like 20 oh. years yeah or something silly like that so let, let's just do another one at some point but like hopefully yeah. in my lifetime i'd rather not you know look yeah. down 
from or look up <laughs> depending on which way you think I'm going and be like oh I've missed out on that but yeah because I think with those crossovers they had like really like weird roles especially from like the 70s and 80s where like yeah no certain, certain comes... people couldn't have yeah. do certain things and yeah I mean, hopefully so, if this if a movie did happen and it wasn't yeah. like an amalgam that you could those rules obviously still apply yeah all right you, you, but you can be a bit more creative with them yeah it's like certain characters can you know couldn't do certain things or certain characters were off limits to other certain characters and mm. you know you can use these characters while we use these characters um uh, yeah it's been a while i like uh aside from the amalgam comics it's been whew, close to 40 years where they actually had... I didn't know there was one in the 2000s wasn't it well if it's if it's the amalgam uh, from what i'm looking at it said like the like the, the one the crossover that was uh, i'm thinking of is the one like batman or the superman and the mean spider-man and batman and incredible hulk and some other stuff where like they fight and then team up and, and from what i'm looking at it's been close to like 30 years since they did it because like they've done a couple of them in the 70s and then the 80s and they had the amalgam comics in in the 90s and I, th- I think they're not they're not um counting the the one-off ones that they usually do i say i'm certain the 2000s had one so you st- it, they, they did it so it's like one every 10 years yeah it, it's, there was something like, one every 10 years at least yeah it's the i think the ones you were talking about is like the the versus series that, that they that they did where it's dc versus marvel and not like an actual crossover where it's actually so one character, had the, character the jla avengers was that a versus one uh, i'm looking at it uh let's see it looks like it looks like it was this is in 2003 2004 so yeah it was a it was a versus one no no that that actually had two villains because the grandmaster was a villain and krona uh, let's see yeah, Kroner and exiled Owen, a villain from this universe who has gained the powers of uh-huh. entropy, begins destroying the tie. Oh, yeah, it was that one. Yeah, because that's the, um, <clears throat> where they had the, uh, that, the, the, the secret new Infinity Stone in there. What was it? The, <laughs> the, stone secret, the secret Infinity yeah. Stone? Yeah, they actually made a seventh Infinity Stone for that event. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, but that that was the last time you actually had an official crossover. So what? It's now twenty years. Uh, it's... Yeah, well, yeah, it's twenty years. So it's, it's been a, a long, long time. It's been a long time. Yeah. So you know, part of me, it just says, throw everything to the wall in Secret Wars, have amalgam characters. Oh man! <laughs> and just tease it like that. Like, just bring. Like, why not? Right? Just bring those in in Secret Wars for like a little cameo. Uh, who are you? I'm a uh, spider boy. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I can't think of the Wolverine Batman one, but I guess I think it's Dark Claw. That's the one. I, I want to say Dark Claw, but I was like, nah, it's not Dark Claw. Should have should have stuck with my guns. Yeah, like just do stuff like that. Like, why not? You're already they're no doubt already going to have like the Squadron Supreme, which is their spoof from the Justice League anyway. So just just have the the, the characters you half own. Like, I'm sure you can get away with that. Why did they do? Why did they do um, Doctor Doom that? And it didn't dirty. <laughs> it's a Malcolm character. It's called Doctor Doomsday, and he is ugly. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Th- that one felt like, uh, hey, you got Doom and Doomsday. Mm-hmm. It was like, no, that, that should never have happened. Never, <laughs> never just... amalgam things based on name alone. That was a uh, big, big misstep. Yeah, they also had like I Doctor Strange. Make quite fun with that. Though. Yeah, they also had Doctor Strange feet. Yeah, see, I mean that one makes sense, right? That's that's yeah. totally fine. That one, but a bit bland, but it, it works. Yeah, yeah, like out of out of you, all, you could of have them. fun with it in a Secret Wars movie. Uh, yeah. yeah, out of all of them, uh, I think like the worst ones was Doctor like Doctor Doomsday, and then because um, they had like they had two super people equivalents with Superboy, and then they had Super Soldier. Like Super Soldier yeah. was actual yeah. Clark Kent and and Captain Steve Rogers, and then Superboy was with Superboy Prime and Spider Man. Yes, yeah. yeah. Who was Ben Riley at the time? I had to correct that. 
It was. It was. I suppose, yeah, because it's the, the clones. It, yeah. Know? It's, like, it's, like, it's, <laughs> it's the, the anti hero. Even, even though Superboy Prime technically wasn't a clone, so I was like, okay. <laughs> it's true, yeah. 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 <laughs> just, just, just have them be a little quick cameo in yeah. six I don't, I don't, I don't think, Yeah, because I don't think you want to see the Skulk. <laughs> I no, it's a real character. No skull, but... yeah, well, it's a real character. It's Solomon Grundy and the Hulk smashed together. Oh, that's. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I think they should do it personally. Because with Amalgam in the Verses yeah. and whatever else, you, you know, th- there's at least three movies here you can do. You can do the Amalgam stuff. You can have a Verses, which I think you can get a safe for last, right? But you yeah. can also do the crossover where they help each other out. Like, mm. then do it that way. Like, you, you can have your cake and eat it with, like, three different crossovers, but obviously spread them out enough. But mm. also, just use a panic button when superhero fatigue kicks in which is, yeah. according to James Gunn doesn't exist, but fatigue of bad movies exists. Yeah. That's what, that's what, that's what he, that's what he essentially says. Is he goes, he goes like, um, superhero movie fatigue doesn't exist, but bad movies <laughs> yeah. worth them exist. And that's what people are, are getting. Essentially when tired. you sacrifice character for spectacle, that's when people start, yeah. you know, which unlike man of still in certain other movies. Mm-hmm. Uh, Gotta have character. Oh, yeah. yeah. So let us know. Do you want an amalgam, or do you want a crossover? Do you want a versus? Uh, no, do you uh, want the crossover? I would want. The, I wouldn't mind a crossover. Um, I, I don't know about an amalgamation because yeah, I don't know if you want to see those characters. Um, Not necessarily those ones, but you can amalgamate the ones they have. Uh, yeah. Obviously, uh, the the comics have the added benefit of never aging characters out, where movies. Yeah. Because right. I'm, look, I'm looking at another character. Uh, I don't, I'm not so sure. But I can't find her name. But another amalgam they had was uh, Wonder Woman and, and Storm. That's an interesting combination. I get why. Yeah. But that's an interesting one. Oh, okay. So she's called Amazon. It was that's the one that had it's the amalgamation of yeah. Storm and and Diana. I did not a lot of thought went into that name. I'll, I'll be honest. A lot, a lot of that doesn't go into a lot of names. They just it's true. <laughs> they just throw see what's at the see what's on the board and see what sticks. Kind of very true. Gotta love, especially old comics. You gotta love it. Yeah. All right, I think that's gonna bring an end to this week's. You got a a good old show. I think there's a good hour out of that. Mm-hmm. A very good hour. Yeah. So. Yeah. You might get two of these this week, depending when Armin gets this out and if there's actually yeah. other news to record this week. If not, it will be probably the same time next week. Yep. So, okay. thanks for joining everyone. We didn't do the socials, but you, you know where everything is. It's in the description. Yeah. It's, it's down there. Um, yeah, so, uh, bye-bye.